Sorry I was gone for like the longest time ever, but I'm back, and today I'm reviewing 9492 TIE Fighter. First, we'll start with the box. Yeah, it shows that already I mentioned 9492. It's 8 to 14. Ages 8 to 14, and 413 pieces. With a cool Darth Maul logo on it. And as a new. Death Star Trooper, TIE Fighter Pilot, Imperial Officer, and a new R5J2. Take a look at the back. It just shows um, some different positions you can put it. A little bit of a comic. And gimmicks. Now we will get to the minifigures. First, we have a, um, a, uh, TIE Fighter pilot. He's one of the newer figures. He's got the good front printing. He has no back printing. And, uh, he's got a face like all new ones do. Next, we have... R5J2, he's a new Imperial droid. Only back head printing, face printing, and good front printing. Next we have an, the Imperial Officer. He's not really new. He's been in many sets, I'm sure. He's got a little bit of back printing, front printing, and only one face. Next we have a whoops a Death Star Trooper. Yeah, he's got front printing and no back printing. He just has a normal blaster. He has two faces as you can see there. This helmet, I'm not sure if it's really new. Well actually I'm sure it is probably new. I just, I just don't know if he really is in Actually, he, if he's a Death Star Trooper, he would be another set. And now we will get to the set. Um, the, uh, the opening talk, he's got, it's got the uh, normal upper turbo blasters like other ones. Actually, it's just a window on the top. All other ones have it except for um, the TIE Bomber and the first, tie, first generation TIE Advance. Um, it is wobbly. I'm sure it's not supposed to be this wobbly, but these big four pieces here, they wouldn't go in fully. So yeah, and the cockpit, it's got, um, it, it's got a new opening way. It's got a lot more space, and it has a nice looking computer there. I'll give you a little better of a view. If I can get good lighting. There we go. So yeah, just put that back up, and um, if you'll give me a moment. Watch what you're doing. Yeah, you can put your TIE Fighter Pilot right in there, and you just close it right up. Like close. There, got it closed up. And, of course, it has flick fire missiles, and I'll demonstrate that for you quickly. Now it's, you'll probably see it just like a... Yeah, like that, if you saw it. So yeah, it's got yeah, the average flick fire missile. So yeah, as you can see, it's, it's, since it's new, it's starting to get into more gray. I'm sure you've seen that more, that all kinds of older ones have like lots of blue on them. Now, nowadays, they're trying to make them uh, more accurate to the movies. I forgot to show you some... It's a really good engine design, too. And, and it, as you can notice, it's not the Imperial symbol, symbol right there. It's something else. But, yeah, I think that's all I need to show you. So, um, I'll see you in my next review. Bye!